Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to posterize a image for free using any online tool. So um, right here, all I did was go into my Google search engine or any search engine and I wrote posterize tool online. You could do posterize free tool online or whatever phrasing you want. And really honestly, you'll end up with a variety of options that you can click on. I'm just going to click on the very first one, but they're all going to be very similar. Um, and you just have to kind of look at it and figure out which one's going to work best for you. Usually somewhere on the site, it will have a space where you can choose your file. So I'm going to click on that and upload a file of myself. So um, I have a folder here titled self and I'm just going to pick one of these pictures. I just have these four examples like this. Um, so I have it lifted up and the second um, option, which is usually in a lot of these sites, is to um, select the posterize level, which as it's describing here is number of colors. So um, I'm going to go down to four because the more you have, the more detail you're going to see. And I want to keep mine a little bit more simple. I don't want a lot of very clear details. Um, if I want it to be black and white, um, I'm going to click on this thing to make it black and white. Sometimes they don't give you that option. Um, sometimes it's only in color. So I'm just going to unclick it. And then you can also decide if you want it in a JPEG or any other. Usually whatever they have there is probably what you want. It's probably just like a standard good thing. Now, if you know more about it and you want to switch it to be something more specific, that's fine. I'm going to leave all of this number three section alone. I'm just going to press OK and we're going to see it um, process. So right here it says OK, processing completed and I can either just open it or I can download it. So if I want to open it first to see if I like it or not, uh, before I download it, I can click on that. Sometimes it doesn't give you the option. And there we have my image and it's been reduced to a really basic outline. So um, values, shapes, all of that stuff. So if I wanted to print this out, save it, print it out that way. If I think it looks kind of weird or not exactly how I imagined, I can back up and try again. Or like I said, I can download it if I want to go up a few and see how that looks, if I want to do it in black and white, see what that looks like, I can go and click on it um, and again check on it. And now I have upped a few levels and now it's in black and white and I can see myself in that way. So if I'm happy with the results, I'll save it and then um, use it for whatever it is I want to use it for. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, this first one was a good one. I will have this um, site linked below so you can actually go to this specific site if you want or you can like I said Google search and find any and almost all of them are going to do what you need them to do so hope this was helpful and uh, have a great day happy art making